Well, here we are again. Oh, you can use your mouse to shoot. That means you can shoot in various different directions. I will never use that because that sounds kind of tedious, but it's good to know. We are now up to 2,000 gold. Here again with the wizard's lizard. Um, probably should not kill the townspeople if I had to guess. Do you have anything interesting to say? Scary monster in the sewer tried to give me a hug on my face. That doesn't seem great. Um, we have some more townspeople that have come back here, but yes, we can buy something. The spear was really awesome. I was very happy to start out with the spear last time. It made uh, life very easy for us. Is there anything we can buy in addition to? Oh, oh my god, the explosive totem is 10,000. Are you kidding me? Well, we can buy the spear, and that's it. But I'm going to roll with the spear, because it is the best item, I think. And um, apart from that, we'll just move onwards and hope to basically repeat the process. I apologize if this is becoming a little bit repetitive, but, you know, it is what it is, right? These games, you end up doing the same areas kind of over and over, and the difference is... Uh, are in the actual items that you get and also you know there is some cool kind of puzzle stuff going on here I am starting to see though how uh, a wizard's lizard can um, you know get repetitive pretty quickly though it's different almost in a game like Isaac um, not even so much rogue legacy but in a game like Isaac or Spelunky things are very very different run to run that doesn't necessarily appear to be the case so much with the wizard's lizard so far which again is why I think it, it kind of wears that uh, Zelda vibe a little bit more than um, uh, the other games that you might actually mention, but you know, in Isaac, two runs where you die on the third floor could look very, very different. In this, they kind of look the same, and you feel bad when you lose. Um, just keep it up here, but the music is keeping me going here, and I, I'm not saying it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination, just that, uh, ooh, we got a new item, so disregard everything altogether that I just said. Um, no, I'm, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad game, just that I, I do see, you know, if people are complaining, as I imagine they might be, about uh, repetition here, I can understand. All right, we got another soul orb. I have no idea what the abacus does, but again, that's half the fun. Another soul orb. Let's buy the gloves. We don't have any gloves right now. Actually, maybe I'd be better off buying a charm. Because the charm was, uh, they stack, basically, as far as I'm aware. Unless I am mistaken. Plus, it has, like, a spike on it, which I think maybe is a little bit better. I can get down with that. This owl is annoying. Try not to fight the zombies whenever I can avoid it, but we will, um, you know, check this out. Oh, you know what the abacus does? It uh, shows us how much damage we do with each attack. All right, that's it's interesting. It's kind of like the monster manual. I don't really see that as being a, a good item, just kind of like a weird toggle feature. Oh well, though. It's nice to have, I suppose. It's kind of like getting, um, I don't know, like Magneto or something in uh, in Isaac. When you already have the ability to fly. It's like, eh, yeah, it is what it is. We're not going to get enough money to actually buy the tr uh, the charm, unless I haven't explored one of these rooms. But I won't be able to tell that until I actually come down here and get the map to scroll, I think. I have explored everything, okay. Again, I, I would just love it if that map was a little bit larger. But uh, we'll buy the gloves because there's nothing else to buy on this floor, and um, we'll see what they do. Shaman gloves probably makes our totem a little bit stronger if I had to guess. I could be totally off base in that, but that's my uh, assumption, and it seems to be working out reasonably well so far. Pretty cheap upgrade, but also, you know, pretty much not that amazing, so that's fine. Cemetery Part 2. Alright. Get a lot of our gold back already. It's a good start. I guess, you know, what I want to say about this game is that it, it's, it doesn't vary that much run to run, and that's kind of interesting. Like, that's kind of a, a weirdly cool way of doing things. I I don't prefer it compared to, you know, the way that Isaac handles things, necessarily. About to fight the Zambro. Um, but I do appreciate that it makes it maybe a little bit more skill-focused, because you're not going to get items that necessarily carry you. Book of Totemic Mastery. Now, if I were a Book of Totemic Mastery, what would I do? I would lower the cooldown for totems. Ah, uh, it appears that that is indeed the case, I think. Maybe it just makes totems better overall. It's hard to tell, though, because we also have the Shaman's Gloves, which might be what lowers the totem's cooldown. I don't know, man. I'm just doing my part, you know? Just trying to keep my head above water here. Plenty of money. Doors are open. Let's blow these up and move on. Okay. This is a busy room. There we go. That totem should help out. I did uh, get hit there. That was very stupid on my part. Oh, God. Okay, it's the birds, man. It's always the freaking birds every time. I can't even use another soul orb yet. 
That is a staggering amount of damage for a room like this, but usually this room has a tendency to give you, like, meat because the birds are so fucking annoying. I think having a good totem might have actually screwed me a little bit there. Alright, let's sneak a shot over these gaps. And, oh, that was kind of dangerous. I don't really want to deal with a zombie. Maybe we can just handle it this way. Yeah, okay. Well, we could leave, but I think it's definitely in our best interest to do some more exploration. And usually the second floor does have a pentagram room on it, so we could, well, like, die, get this key, come back to life, and then uh, move onwards. We also have a decent amount of money, enough money to certainly, you know, entertain the thought of buying something. I really need to figure out a better way of dealing with those asshole angry birds. Like, those are truly the angry birds of our generation, if I had to say. You may have seen some angry birds in the past, but I apologize. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Did you put it on the back of the box? If there were a box for this digital game. We'd just say, Northern Lion, 385th biggest YouTube gaming channel, says this game has the angriest birds. 7 out of 10. I would love to know how to unlock some more characters. We, uh, you know, haven't quite reached that level of proficiency yet, I guess. Gotta be a shop somewhere here. Okay, this is this is bird level. Worst bird level of all time. I'm gonna die here. I will become a ghost. I wonder if I could do it this way. So let's pop this bad boy down and then use our magical ability. It sort of worked. We didn't do it, Reddit. Okay, but that's fine. I'll come back as a ghost. And watch, they either drop like a fuck ton of meat. Yeah, exactly. But we should have a, like a shop over here. Uh, it's a blueprint. I'll buy the blueprint. What do we have? Shaman Helm, so we can go like full Shaman build if we want to. On the bright side, I will at least be able to um, replenish some health after we come back to life. We don't want to come back to life yet because we want to get the key first. Maybe dying on like floor uh, two is actually like a totally viable strategy because you get that free key. And you all know that I like to get free keys. <laughs> it doesn't really, you know, make that much sense with the pluralization at the end, but don't question it. Alright, so there's... Slime key. Again, borderline no idea what this actually does for us, but that's okay. So we'll come up. I'm gonna reposition myself in my chair here, cause shit's getting serious right now. Generally, whenever I have the opportunity to buy blueprints, I'm gonna take it up on it, because it's a it's a permanent upgrade, right? Why would I go for a, a passive, or not a passive, but a temporary upgrade when I can get a permanent upgrade? Even if it does end up sucking, at least we know. Come on, you can do it. I wonder if we get any extra help by running around in a circle. We're like charging up a battery or something. Uh, it didn't work that way, by the way. So, we'll come get our meat and then we'll leave and we'll be a decent health. I mean, we didn't really have a choice. So I would rather come back to life than not come back to life. I wonder if the second level of every world is guaranteed to have a pentagram. In which case, all I need to do is stay in ghost form on the, the caves until we find it. And then I can come back to life and get an extra life there as well. Otherwise, like, I really don't know how you get out of that bird room without taking a, a crazy amount of damage. There's a lot of zombies here. But anyway, we're we're through the next floor. Up this way. Cemetery part three. I hope we get the easy variety of the boss again. Just in general, that seems to be a good thing when it comes to predicting survival. Uh, and we have some... I've never seen that golden glove before. Wow, that was a really good barrel. Um, I've never seen that golden glove before. I wouldn't mind buying the, uh, the ring. Spiked gauntlets. Yeah, we'll use those instead of the shaman gloves. Um, yeah, I, I think that seems like a fairly reasonably good option to go with, don't you? I should not have walked into that. Um, if we can get that, we can get that. Otherwise, we don't have any rings, so we might as well go with, you know, anything that we can get that would improve ourselves right now. I hate these birds so much. Every, like, roguelike -ish game seems to have that one enemy that is just totally heinous. And in this game, that is it. Oh, now we have a ring. Ring of Multi-Strike. Okay, this maybe means that we actually don't want to uh, get another ring. Because this ring is actually amazing. We've seen it before. Oh my god, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to deal with this bullshit? I'm gonna... I'm gonna put this down here and then... Oh my god, I, I actually completely fucking missed with my magic attack. So now we're a ghost again. I'm seriously fed up with this bird room. Multi-strike makes it a little bit more doable. Alright, I think we're, we're ready to fight the boss. As ready as we're ever going to be anyway. Uh, we're going to have to deal with a few more zombies as a result of those extra turrets. Um, 
Let's see what kind of uh, enemy we've got here. Okay, it's spinning enemy, which is the more difficult variety. I'm gonna take some hits right here, probably. Oh my god, I lived. Okay. Now, we do have really good range with this spear. So, I'm gonna try to take out the turrets first. And if we can take out the turrets, then we won't have to deal with as many zombies. We'll also get more soul orbs that I can use for my own purposes. I don't know why that sounded so nefarious. I use them for my own purposes. Mostly masturbatory purposes. Now, there we go. Don't necessarily relish the thought of taking out all the zombies. You know, it's a little bit tedious, but if we can do it, why not, right? Damage is pretty good. Stacking up, at least. Now we'd be wise to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, that could have gone worse. With our range, I think we're actually in like a pretty winning position here. I would love to get out of this fight for once without taking a, a ton of damage. It might be a little too much to ask for, though. We actually did 100 damage as a result of that... Uh, it was a result of that explosive barrel, so that works out really nicely for us. I still got hit because I'm bad, but that's okay. We're almost done here. One more hit should do it, I think. Yeah, there we go. I don't even want to pick up the HP potion yet because we can pick it up closer to the end of the floor and maybe help ourselves out. Starting to apply some Isaac strategies, you know. What do we have here? It's, uh, ooh. Skull of the Demon. Well, now we can actually, because we have the Abacus, see how much our damage has been affected. It's probably a really good tool for people who are inevitably working on the wiki for this. Because wikis are a money-making scheme, for sure. Oh, actually, it seems like we're firing a lot faster here. Wait, don't get me wrong, wikis are useful. They can also generate an awful lot of money. That's why, like, for every video game, there's, like, a, a wiki up in, like, two hours. People were like, I want to capitalize on the SEO for this. Nothing wrong with it, necessarily. We're going to keep exploring this floor because we do have some HP, uh, like a window there that we can use. Or a little bit of a cushion, I should say. Fuck these birds, man. If I die because of these birds, I'm going to be infuriated. I think maybe the demon did just raise our uh, rate of attack, which is fine. At least the birds don't all get triggered at once this time. That's really the piss off. Offensively, I think this is the strongest run I've ever had. Good. Keep moving on. Hoping to get more money, obviously. Uh, this room doesn't seem that bad. It is one of the rooms with the, the traps on it, which is annoying, but otherwise okay. And is that over? Wow, that was... It's not over. What's... Oh, there's two birds left. Just gotta make sure that I'm on the right, like, level with them. There is a little bit of money, but I would like to have more. Oh, yeah, that's bad damage. I've gotta be wary, because I, I'm not, you know, invincible at all. We do have another townsperson, though, so that's extra money. So that actually does allow me to start with two items now, which actually seems like a pretty sizable boost. Just being able to start with the spears instead of the sword is kind of huge, I think. So being able to get even more on top of that is even better. All right, so we've got a couple of these, like, man-eaters, man-traps. I forget what they're called. Man-shooters, maybe. That would make the most sense, I guess. And uh, let's rescue this townsperson. All right, so that'll take me up to 2,500 gold to start. At the very least, that's what I like, uh, is that every run you do get a little bit of permanent support. And the game seems to be balanced with that in mind. So it's not just like eventually you come in with a nuclear bomb and drop it on them and win every level instantly. Uh, we... I don't want to take the health potion yet, even though it's kind of risky to keep exploring when my HP is not great. I would rather leave with like full HP when we leave this floor. If possible, which may or may not be possible, but we'll see. Um, so far so good, I'd say. Again, our damage output seems really crazy, so I'm happy with that. We haven't killed everything yet? I thought I saw, like, a shadow up there. That's a decent amount of money. We may get enough to actually buy something. I don't want to replace my helmet, though. Alright. Um, uh, 76.5. Werewolves. Annoying. But also dead. And this guy died. I didn't even see myself shooting at him, but... We must have uh, hit him from across the map. That's what I like about these. The, the range is out of control. All right. Uh, difficult room. Lots of, um, you know, fucked up kind of dodging propositions here. Uh, that's not so bad, I guess. And again, since we can hit enemies from across the map, we have a huge range advantage. Range advantage actually seems way more viable than in something like Isaac. Although, you know, it took me a long time to come to the conclusion that range was not very good in that game. That'll take us up to, like, 8,500, roughly, with the stuff on the ground over here. Oh, wow! Alright, 9,600, actually. 
97. Uh, thankfully, we did not... Was that... Was that a lantern down there? Someone signed in on Steam and I missed. Oh no, it was just a gold piece. That's even better, actually. Alright, so this ended up being a pretty good run here. Maybe the first run where we actually have a viable crack at doing something, you know, in the... Mid-game? Or, I don't even know if it's the mid-game, but, you know, this part of the game. That I can't seem to otherwise get past. So, in the shop, we will buy... Oh my god, are you serious? The gloves are very slightly too expensive. Well, we'll... We have a ring already. We have the ring of multi-strike. Maybe I won't buy anything. Or maybe I'll farm these zombies. And, uh, try to get to 10,000. Just to at least discover what the item is, you know? If it sucks, it sucks, but I'd at least like to know what it is. And, you know, farming these guys is super easy. They don't always drop gold, I think, but enough of a tendency to do so to help me out a little bit. And this time, there we go. Okay, so we have 10,000 now. Let's go buy the glove. I imagine it's probably like increased gold drop. That's what it looks like anyway. Fireproof gloves. No damage from fire. Um... Or maybe we have fire on... No, it doesn't look like we have fire on our shots. That's not amazing. But at least we've discovered what it does, and we know not to pick it up in the future. You know, knowledge is power. Alright, so that takes us back to full health. I think it's actually just plus 25, not necessarily full health. And uh, full health as a ghost headed down to the sewers. Just don't throw. This is the only thing I ask. Beat one or two of the levels down here. Make the people happy. Give them what they want. Okay, so be very, very cautious about this stuff. Especially those spikes. It's easy to... It's easy to let those spikes get one up on you. So we'll try to take out these face huggers from afar. It's very easy. Pretty good. Oh, I should kill you before I come over there. And... Oh, whoa! Okay, so there's a lurker over here. Alright, we killed it. That was actually surprisingly easy. I think we're doing more damage than we normally do. Okay, don't get frozen. One face hugger left, that's it. Pretty solid. Unless there's some some gooey enemies that still want to get up. No, that's the end. Okay, we did it. We we cleared a room without taking damage. I realize I left a few gold pieces back there. That's okay. Don't worry about it too much. Alright. All right, some enemies have already died somehow. I'm happy. Not not asking questions I don't want the answer to. Uh, okay. Thank you. Definitely get the golden chalice. Do we have a zombie generator? We do. Let's take that out. I thought I wasn't multi-shooting there for a second, and I was very, very worried. Okay. More soul orbs. We're actually getting a good deal of stuff here. Can't kill that, so we gotta wait for the lurker. Any moment now. We will discover the lurker. Hey, there we go. And we can leave. That went very well. Okay, 4,600. I really just want to live long enough to get to another pentagram. If that happens, that was a little too close for comfort, but if that happens, I'll feel pretty good about things. Oh, I can't even make it over this way. All right, we'll come back this way. If I can come back to life one more time, I'd at least, I'd at least love to see the boss on the sewers. I'd love to rescue, you know, two townspeople per run instead of just one. That would make me, uh, you know, a little bit more self-esteemy right now. Now, like, my self-esteem level right now is like the, a clam, and I would like to be uh, a self-esteemed potato if possible, or maybe, like, broccoli at least. You call them steamed clams, even though they're quite obviously grilled. Ooh, okay, bad damage. The game was nice enough to stutter a little bit before I got hit, just so I knew uh, the full consequence of my terrible play. Okay. Thank God you're not a mimic. Got some boots. Battle mage boots. I think spiked boots are probably better, but I don't know. Maybe there's a, a grade to equipment. If you know what I mean. Um... Like, maybe equipment that you get on the the sewers here is better than equipment that you would get even if it's under the same name as equipment that you get earlier in the game. It would be kind of a silly system, but I don't know. Maybe. Well, this room is borderline meaningless for me. Maybe some puzzle in here I don't know about. We're still not done? Oh, there's one more thing I haven't hit. Please be like a shop where I can buy some food. Survival is just the only thing I'm concerned about right now. Okay, this is a scary room. Okay. We got nuclear throne crystals here. 
I left the room. That was dumb. Um, here, just take out the crystal. That probably should have hit me. It's got to be dead soon, right? That hit me? That one shouldn't have hit me, but I, I guess now we're even. Does it just take damage forever? Is that how this works? I don't take damage forever, so I'm kind of concerned about things. That didn't look like it hit me in my mind. Oh! <laughs> I can't make it any further! Well... Thanks for watching. I'm going to take a little break from Wizard's Lizard today, learn something about the game, and then come back next time. But I hope you enjoyed the game again. There is a link in the video description below to pick it up if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Show your support if you like the button, or if you like the video, click the like button, and I'll see you uh, next time. Goodbye.